cremation and what happens on the day. Your questions answered about the day of a cremation. Prior to cremation, how is the body arranged? On the off chance that the body is to be seen before cremation, the body should be preserved. This requires natural liquids being expelled, and the body is embalmed with a concoction of traditional chemicals that protects the body from rapid decomposition. On the off chance that the body is to be placed straight into a casket and not be seen, at that point it will be put away into an industrial refrigeration unit. Funeral directors can dress the deceased in any garments that the family wish, alongside anything that are requested for the cremation process. Pacemakers and all other battery-based internal medical devices must be removed from the body before the cremation procedure starts, since they can be dangerous when exposed to extreme heat of the cremation chamber. On this basis, commonly the body just before the process is started will have the jewelry removed and it returned to the family. Is it right to embalm before cremation? Preserving isn't a necessity for the cremation procedure and is just prudent if there will be an open coffin for companions A and D relatives to pay their last farewells. Embalming may likewise be vital if the body must be transported by rail or air, or in view of the period of time between the demise and cremation process is too long to not think of keeping the body in an appropriate condition. The embalming process is used to slow the rapid natural degradation of the deceased. Is a coffin necessary for cremation? No, expensive casket is not 100% fundamental for this process. For cremation, coffins are for the most part used to give a regal method to move the body. The main prerequisite for a cremation is that the body is set in an inflexible, ignitable, and encased holder. Cardboard caskets have turned out to be progressively prevalent due to the affordable nature. Amid cremation, what happens on the day of the cremation? Upon the arrival of the body, the casket is brought into the place where the service is being held and is usually followed by close family drivers. The coffin is then set on a raised and embellished stage before a religious or mainstream service is conducted. This is followed by the closing of the ceremony and the disappearance of the coffin, after which the people attending the service leave the house of prayer. The casket is then taken into the committal room, where the nameplate is coordinated with the cremation order to guarantee the body is effectively identified. The coffin is marked with the proper card which gives all the important data to their cremation. The last thing is to be placed inside the cremation chamber where it will be subjected to very high temperatures. How long the actual cremation take? The body is typically cremated inside a few hours, but the crematorium can take up to 24 hours to begin the cremation process, depending on the workload of the facility. What is the end result for the coffin during cremation? The casket is cremated alongside the body, and everything inside. The compartment the deceased is laid in before it's put into the chamber is cremated with the body. Once the coffin enters the crematorium chamber, it is legitimately not permitted to be opened. Do you have garments on when being cremated? Yes, for the most part, you can either be cremated in what you wear before you passed, or an outfit of your choosing. It is very rare for a body to be placed in the chamber for cremation without clothing to show respect for the deceased person's privacy. To what time extent does a cremation take? All things considered, the cremation procedure takes somewhere in the range of two and a half hours. The time the cremation takes greatly depends on the time factors of the cremation chamber's use and the body mass makeup of the deceased body, which includes tallness, bone thickness. People with a very large BMI are cremated for a much longer period and at a lower temperature to ensure safe cremation of the body and complete reduction of their body mass. Would relatives be able to witness the cremation process? Most times two relatives can observe the cremation procedure in the event that they desire to witness it. This needs to be arranged beforehand and especially not on the day of cremation. What happens to jewelry during the cremation process? jewelry, and other things, such as the nails, which hold the casket together are non-flammable. Most modern Western society cremation facilities will remove the jewelry before cremation and return them to the family members via the funeral director. Any other metallic things that are not removed beforehand are removed with a magnet after the cremation process has been completed. After cremation, what container is utilized for remains? 
the crematorium will put the remains of your loved one inside a plastic container for collection by the funeral home. In the event that a family has picked an urn for the ashes, at that point the burial funeral home will put the remain inside this urn for the family. What is the end result for the remains after the cremation? After the incineration, the ashes are taken out from the cremation chamber and put on a cooling plate. Any metal pieces are then removed, and the rest of the remain are diminished to fine white gray ash with a look of coarse sand, this is bone ash, before being put into an impermanent urn. After the cremation ashes have been transferred back into your care, this is when most clients start the process of getting their loved one's ashes interned into tattooing, so they can get the ultimate memorial tattoo. If this is a process you're interested in then don't hesitate to get in contact. Find out more at cremationinc.com. Thank <laughs> you.